He's a hip-hop influencer bringing something fresh and new to the world of music. He's a leader of the new cool. Here's 2 chains. <laughs> From the streets is not a secret, and a lot of the things that I rap about and talk about uh, are experiences. I think it's cool to be smart. I love smart people, man. Like, I love learning something new. To me, I think it was an era where people thought being dumb was cool, like, you know, getting high and drinking lean and boom, like all the things that a lot of people do, I do the same thing, but I just don't think it's cool to have that can't control myself, you know. Or I never made a scene in high school. I don't think people ever knew that. And I finished high school, but you know, we went through an era where everybody said they dropped out, so that was like cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and ain't nothing wrong with that. For somebody to drop out of school and still become an entrepreneur, a millionaire, Jay-Z, Jeezy, a lot of people that did that shit, that's like, that's big. But I really went to school. Like I'm so, like I got best dress, most popular. I played basketball. I was like, mm, and then I lead the game. We two, three cheerleaders on my car. You know what I mean? I had a car. Everything a lot of people say they did, I did, and still went to school. My dad was in prison most of my life, and now he's out. We have a great relationship. You know what I'm saying? I'm not bitter. And I remember periods where everybody dissed they fall. Like you know what I mean? Like I never did that. Dude was never like around, and I never dissed him. Like. And then my mom, she was a single parent, she was black, she was doing the best she could, but my mama didn't know what size shoe I wear, what size pants, so a lot of stuff that got me best dressed, people had to know that I had to hustle to get it. I just feel like I can wear a lot of different things. Um, and spend the video on one of my wore a suit. I went to the tailor, put on a suit, like I wanna wear a suit. I had a rooftop party for my birthday where I actually came in a helicopter, I had a shark skin on money suit, you know purple polo size. You know, I was just all the way through that, you know what I mean? And then on the other hand, I like wearing, you know, maybe true religion jeans, you know, um, Gucci tennises, Louis tennises. I'm not really a fan, and people know it. I really don't go all out the way to be at the mall first to get the new, you know, tennis shoes that come out because I'm just a little bit more mature than that. November 1st, I dropped true religion. Everybody knows I like to wear true a lot, jeans and all that, but I I spelt it different and I wanted to have more substance. I didn't want it to just be about clothes. And so I shortened the name. I made TRU an acronym that stands for The Real University, which is like a, a cyber college of just real people. You know, I'm giving out scholarships, enrolling people, deans, list the whole thing on who. You know, being real, like, you know, being an individual, being comfortable in your own skin. And then I spelled religion, R E A L, real, because religion is the study and belief of something I believe in being real. So my campaign is being real as a minority. I have everything from sweatshirts, DVDs. This is my mixtape, True Religion. This little piece of cardboard here has a device on the back that you can scan on any of the smartphone. It uploads in maybe three seconds. Cheaper, easy to carry, just smarter. I have a lot of stuff. I have a lot of ambition, period. You know, I've been around a lot of successful people. Shout out to Luda, shout out to Lil Wayne. You know, I can even say Gucci, Chip, Jeezy, Ross. I'm friends with a lot of people that I feel like um, who did it, how they wanted to do it on their own from the ground up, which really inspired me to kind of just go another notch, you know what I mean?